Here we go, everyone. Welcome to the NFL version of Vegas Top Dogs YouTube channel update. We are rocking and rolling. You can hear with the music. Plays 7 0 the past two weeks between uh, the side total and player props. With the Red Hot Jeff Hawk right over there. We'll get to him in one minute and his selections. But I sure hope you enjoy the free winners each and every week. I also have some stats for you on today's video. Jeff, welcome to the show once again this week. Thanks, Tony. Thanks for having me once again. Appreciate it. Good weekend for me last week. Cashed our 10-star college football game of the month, Minnesota U. And cashed my only selection in the NFL, five-star best bet. Easy winner, Baltimore Ravens over the Detroit Lions. Free picks on fire. I gave out two. They both won. Let's keep it rolling. We're going to go to Sunday night football. Watch and win. Chicago All Bears right. at L.A. Chargers. Second, current line. Second, before you get to that, I have my lucky Tommy Bahama shirt on. It's been very good luck the past few years on these videos. And before we get to your selections, remember last week I gave you those ATS uh, selections. I said the best teams were Miami and Detroit at five and one. Well, they both lost, but they're still the best uh, ATS teams. Miami is now five and two. Detroit Lions also five and two. Remember, I gave you the five worst teams ATS. Well, of course, they all won. Denver, the Giants, New England, and Atlanta. Carolina Panthers had a bye, so they're the worst team ATS wise. Um, oh, five and one. So, uh, see what they do this week. And that's pretty much how the NFL works. Regression. Yeah, and streaks, right? Right. No team is as bad or good as you saw the week before. That's for sure. All yeah. right, here we go. Hopefully our hot streak remains hot. Uh, seven and oh, the past two weeks. What do you got for this, this week, Jeff? One selection. I don't like any props. Nothing stood out, so I'm not going to force anything. But we're going to go to Sunday Night Football. Let's watch and win this one. Chicago Bears are at the L.A. Chargers uh, on NBC, of course. Mike Tirico and Chris Collinsworth on the call. The total is 46 and a half. I like the Chicago Bears plus eight and a half. I think this line is inflated. If the Chargers had a true home field advantage, Maybe I could see this line at eight and a half, but I have it at seven. So we're getting a point and a half of value. Justin Herbert really misses wide receiver Mike Williams. His QBR is about 15 points lower when the stud receiver does not suit up. And it really shows up in the red zone. Let's take a look at net yards per play. If you're not using net yards per play as part of your handicapping process, you should start and week eight is the week that I like to start using this stat. The Bears, minus 0 0.29 net yards per play. The Chargers, minus 0 0.42. So they have a worse net yards per play than the Chicago Bears. Last three games, Chicago has found something. Plus 0 0.72, Chargers, minus 0 0.60. How about point differential for the season? Yes, the Bears are minus 4.3, but the Chargers are minus 1.8. Chicago has a sneaky good defense. Did you know they rank fifth in rushing yards against? They have allowed just 30 rushing yards on average in their last three games. Chargers rank 31st in opponent passer rating, 105.6. They're allowing 310 air yards per contest. So the back door will always be open if the Chargers are up 14-3. Tyson Badgett, he looked good last week. 72.4% of his completion, excuse me, completion percentage against the Vegas Raiders. And if he can torch Vegas's defense, I think he can have some success against the Chargers defense a pass defense is not very good so i'm all over the chicago bears plus eight and a half for my free pick vegas right. top dogs youtube channel this week well while you're on that game 
my player prop actually comes in that game, so we might as well stick with it. And uh, I'm going to go with Justin Herbert over 265, 265 passing yards for Justin Herbert. I think uh, he's going to have a big game here at home. Um, the Bears defense has not been good on the road, despite overall being a solid defense on the road. They gave up 388 passing yards to uh, Washington quarterback Howell. They gave up 272 to uh, Mahomes, who's you know one of the best quarterbacks in the league. And they gave up 317 passing yards um, when they were on the road against Baker Mayfield in Tampa Bay. So I think Justin Herbert should be able to go over the 265 at home here Sunday night football. Plus, they're more of a you know passing team anyway. So I think he'll have a big game passing. Yeah, primetime unders have been the play, but I think this game sets up for a higher scoring game because the Chargers can't run the ball and Chicago's defending the run at a very high level. So I could see, you know, Justin Herbert having a big game, but I think the Bears will cover that number. Should be a fun game to watch Sunday night. Yes, sir. All right. What do you got for us uh, player prop wise this week, Jeff? I do not have a player prop this week. I do have two NFL selections loaded up, VegasTopDogs.com. I also have a college football selection loaded. That's going Saturday night. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Looking forward to another huge weekend of uh, picks. And what's the current line on the, the Bears? What did you get on that? It's currently eight and a half. Eight and a half. All right. And over passing yards, Justin Herbert, 265. Side play I like this week. And uh, not because I'm wearing the hat, but I do like the Cowboys. You as well. The Dallas Cowboys off their bye. I see the line uh, looks like it's six, six and a half. Let's say six and a half. I like the Dallas Cowboys here at home, off their bye. I think defensive coordinator Dan Quinn is going to have their defense ready. I think the secondary is going to play much better as they've struggled in the past few weeks uh, with injuries. So I think two weeks to prepare, they're going to bounce back with a big game here against uh, the Rams. Uh, Dak, only six touchdowns, four interceptions this year, but he always plays well after the bye week. Cowboys are averaging 26 points per game. The defense is allowing a little under 17. So that's a nine-point difference. That's about what I expect Dallas to uh, win this game by nine to 14 points here. Let's go with the Dallas Cowboys as our Vegas Top Dogs YouTube channel. Pick of the week. Yeah, they normally play really well after their bye week. They had some, uh, you know, Micah Parsons was banged up a little bit, uh, Donovan Wilson. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they're healthy and they should be ready to go against the Rams who uh, they have a good, you know, good coach, good passing game right. with Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. Yeah. Um, just hope that the back door isn't open because, you know, Stafford, you know, he's, he's a gunslinger and he's pretty accurate, but I think Dallas's defense does match up really well against the Rams offensive line. So they do. Yeah. The Cowboys force a lot of turnovers. They have eight interceptions. They force they a lot of fumbles. So I look for the defense and special teams to be the difference here. I like the Dallas Cowboys minus six and a half. So that's maybe all I if got you can find, video. maybe Anything if you can find it. Maybe, yeah, maybe if you can find a prop, uh, Micah Parsons, to record a sack, uh, anything over, you know, two to one, uh, I think I think he's going to have a really good game against this Rams offensive line. Yeah, the offensive line is beat up, and he's been quiet the past few games. So He has, yeah. So coming Micah off the Parsons bye, he should be fully healthy. You know, he he's 100% all the time, and you see him, like, walking and limping. So off the bye, I really like him to record a sack. I, I don't know the line, but I'm assuming it's plus money. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'm sure he'll play with a lot of energy after yeah. uh, getting a little bit of rest. Absolutely. All right, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up. We got that cash register going over there, Jeff. Play our free picks. Play our service plays. And, get and you'll be cash. cashing tickets. Seven and oh, seven and oh, the past two weeks. Let's keep it rolling. Be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com. You'll see it across the screen, VegasTopDogs.com. Jeff, thank you very much for uh, breaking down game and uh, adding your expertise this week. 
Thanks for having me once again, Tony. I wish everybody out there a safe and uh, profitable weekend. Good luck. Let's win some cash. Absolutely. As always, good luck and be aware.